It has been narrated that the Prophet ﷺ, when he was asked what is the message that he has been sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the respondent saying that to destroy the idols, to order people to hold uphold the ties of kinship, and to ask people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. In this hadith, we see the importance of the ties of kinship and upholding them. That it has been associated with believing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also not believing in any idols. From the life of the Prophet وسلم, and he was a true role model for us as Muslims, we see that he has upholded, he has upheld the ties of kinship in many actions in his life. And we're gonna focus on three components in this reminder. The number one is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him and remind and warn your close kinship. The Prophet وسلم, went out calling on all his relatives and all his kinship and warning them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that they have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to stop worshiping the idols. That is the first thing, is try to always wish the good for them and warn them and remind them of your close kinship. The second thing is to uphold them in a good status and always uh, be proud of them. And that has been narrated many times the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about his uncle Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas when he said, هَذَا خَالِي فَلْيُرِمْرِئُنْ خَالَى that this is my uncle, anyone, and he was bragging about him about it. Anyone show me your uncle. This is my uncle. And when he also said that Man Adil Abbas Fakad Adani, that whoever uh, harms his uncle Al Abbas radiallahu anh, then he has harmed the Prophet وسلم, himself. And that is the second lesson that we always try to uh, we always hold them in a high standard and, and brag about them and try to protect them all the time. And the third practical example from the life of the Prophet وسلم, is whenever they're sick or in their need, you have to go visit them and take care of them. And that has been also narrated about the Prophet وسلم. when Sayyidina Sa'ad Nabi Waqqas was sick, he went there and he made dua for him and he tried to visit them in their sickness. The Prophet وسلم, said, ليس الواصل بالمكافئ وَلَكِنَّ الْوَاصِلْ مَنْ إِذَا قُطِعَتْ رَحِمْهُ وَصَلَهَا That the people who, who uphold the ties of kinship is not the one who whenever someone visits him, he returns the visit. Or when someone asks about him, return, he asks back. No, it's this who, who whenever people don't ask about him, he asks about them. Whenever no one visits him, he visits them. That is the true meaning of upholding the ties of kinship. And that is something that we see many times today in this life that people live their life that if you didn't ask about me, I don't care, I don't care about you. That is not upholding the ties of kinship. When someone harms you, you have to return that with accepting it and say that, and return, returning that with a good deed, visiting him, taking care of him. And that has been narrated many times at the life of the Prophet Sallallahu To conclude this reminder, the Prophet Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says in the Quran, and to sidu fil ardi wa tuqatta'u arhamakum, that you spread mischief in the land and do not uphold the ties of kinship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala associated not upholding the ties of kinship as mischief in the land. He associated them together in the same verse. This is the thing, this is what we need to do in the month of Ramadan. We have to try to approach all our relatives, our cousins, even there's a problem with them. They harmed us, they affected us in a bad way. We have to still try to uphold these ties of kinship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is one of the, the main messages of the message of Islam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet وسلم, with is to uphold these ties of kinship. Let's take, take the month of Ramadan as a golden opportunity to uphold these ties and make the earth, make the world around us a better place with holding these ties. Thank you and inshallah we'll see you in our next reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.